Hey, what's up guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Company. I'm back with another Dokkan battle video. So this video isn't necessarily intended to be a rant video, but it could definitely become that. So we'll see where it goes. But essentially, as you guys know, the LR Androids were released on both Global and JP a couple days ago at the same time, and both versions got essentially the exact same banners with the exact same featured units. But there was one major, major glaring difference between the two versions, and it wasn't something that was super obvious, it wasn't something that Bandai talked about or announced in the in-game news, in fact it kind of felt like they were intentionally trying to hide this fact and just pray that nobody noticed. And of course, we did notice, and uh, we are not happy about it. And at this point, a lot of you probably already know about it or heard about it from someone, but if you didn't, then this might come as a bit of a surprise to you when I tell you. And essentially, what I'm talking about is the fact that the Tech LR Broly, one of the newest LRs on both versions, was not included on the global version of this banner. And to this day, at this point, a couple days after release, even though I'm about to show you guys the response from Bandai to the situation, I still don't understand why this happened, who decided, I mean, obviously it was Bandai, someone at Bandai, but like, I just don't understand why. Like, what was the reasoning? What was the justification behind it? And Guys, this wouldn't be nearly as big of an issue if the Broly was removed from the JP banner as well. But no, it's he's still there. He's still available on the JP banner. You can still very much summon and pull the Tech Broly on this new LR Androids banner. He's just not available on the global banner. And that's it. And I just can't wrap my mind around it, guys. I don't understand it. And when I first heard about it, which was literally like... A couple hours after the banner released right because people were upset and uh, people told me about it I was like that's really weird like I don't understand why that happened but maybe maybe giving them the benefit of the doubt it was a mistake maybe they just forgot someone who was responsible for putting the banner together just forgot to include Tech Broly and uh, since it was a mistake, maybe they would have given us some kind of compensation for it and then added him to the banner after that, right? That would have been awesome. That would have been the dream. That would have been ideal. But um, <laughs> I think, you know, that was expecting too much. That was asking for too much. And uh, at this point, it's pretty much confirmed it's not a mistake. Um, but I still don't get it, man. I still don't get it. And... Usually when things like this happen, usually when there's some kind of disparity between Global and JP, like maybe JP got more stones or um, I don't know, something to that effect. That's that's usually the problem, right? That JP gets more stones than Global. Um, I don't usually make videos about it. I usually don't talk too much about it just because I'm used to it. You know, I'm just like, hey, you know what? This is just the norm of being a Global player, right? There's always going to be a little bit of a little bit of a preference for the JP side and uh, it's pretty obvious at this point anybody that disputes it is uh you know lying a little bit to themselves i mean obviously i think bandai has become nicer to global in the recent past but there's still a little bit of a disparity just just a little bit um but this one i think was especially bad was especially egregious mainly because tech broly was a global first unit all right he was supposed to be a global, I mean, he was actually a global exclusive for a while before JP got them or got him later on. And for that fact, it makes absolutely no sense. Absolutely zero sense, man. There is no logic behind this decision aside from the fact that they just purposely wanted to shaft global, man. Like that's it. Like they're literally the only justification for, for what happened is that Bandai decided, hey, we are going to make the banner, the banner better for JP in some way, right? Like maybe we can't change up the featured units, but I mean, they could have actually if they wanted to, but they gave us the exact same featured units, but they just decided to take out one of the biggest, most hype LRs, most hype units in the game from the unfeatured pool. And 
it wasn't even it, okay. If it was like a couple days between releases or something like that, I wouldn't have as much of an issue with it. But take a look at this, all right? Take a look at this. Tech Broly came out on Global on May 23rd, 2019, and then JP didn't get him until almost two full months later on July 18th of 2019, right? And uh, that is a significant period of time. He was a Global exclusive for quite some time. And like, what what is the reasoning man it just makes absolutely no sense i i literally thought for a while for like a day i was like this has to be a mistake there's no way he's not on the global banner for like on purpose there's no way they took him out on purpose or didn't include him on purpose because we got him first man he was a global first unit and if anything he sh if one version was not gonna get broly on the 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 new banner it should have been jp man let's be real like Yo, nothing but love to JP. I love JP. I play JP on occasion, and, uh, you know, I don't hate on JP like maybe some other people do, but, dude, like, <laughs> there's it's just no justification for it, man. It makes absolutely no sense, and uh, the people over on the Dokkan subreddit, they they got together and uh, started a little, little, little thread and uh, ask people to actually write in to Bandai, like send in a complaint form or an email, just be like, yo guys, um, what's going on here? Like, why is Tech Broly not on the global banner? Like, was this a mistake maybe or something like that? Like, just wanted to give you a heads up, yo, like, I mean, I'm sure some of them were really up, like really angry. Maybe some people were very uh, mean in their, in their emails, but I think generally people were just kind of like, hey, like this happened, what's going on here? I don't understand, can you please explain? And uh, some people actually did get responses. I mean, some others actually just straight up got ignored by Bandai, but a few people actually did get responses. And I will show you guys exactly what Bandai responded to the question of why Tech Broly wasn't on the uh, global banner, right? So let's go over to Reddit here. And uh, credit goes to reddit user i'm not a bandai spy which is a very suspicious uh name by the way just want to say but uh reddit user i'm not a bandai spy this was the response that bandai provided him when he wrote in about the tech broly on global all right and it says hello thank you for contacting bandai namco entertainment support as about your concern kindly be advised that the reported matter is according to the specifications please note that the character line top up of the Wait, what? Please note that the character line up of the oh character lineup. I was I was kind of confused. Uh, top legendary summon banner. So basically, the featured units or not even featured units, just the um, units in the entire banner, featured and unfeatured, uh, for the global version is different from the Japanese version. No crap. Yo, obviously, <laughs> kindly be advised that we are unable to comply with the request to return the dragon stones. Oh, so so I think they also asked. Um, and I to return the stones and uh, add Broly maybe to uh, the band. I'm not sure if, like what exactly the uh, email was comprised of, like what the contents was, but or were. But um, basically, Bandai is saying that there is no mistake, guys. All right, there was no mistake here. Everything that happened, everything that you see in the game, the banner, the fact that Tech Broly's not there, was according to our plans. And uh, we intended to do that, all right? Uh, even though it may seem like a mistake, even though it makes zero sense for us to do that, we intended to do it. So screw you, all right? We, this is our game. We can do whatever we want with it. And uh, that's it, yo. <laughs> it's basically a big middle finger, basically an F you um, from Bandai. And I read a few other emails to a few other responses and they were essentially the exact same, same, you know, the same information was conveyed uh, in different ways, basically. And, um, yeah, I mean, that's Bandai's response, man. They didn't give us any additional reasoning for why it was decided. I mean, realistically, it's just money, right? Like, they know, you know, Bandai knows that Tech Broly is super, super hype for a lot of people, all right? And, I mean, any new Broly is. Like, people love Broly. Um, it, it, like, uh, me and my friend made a joke where we're like, yo, whenever Bandai wants to make money, they're just like, yo, new Broly time, new Broly, or like a new Gogeta or something like that. It might be close, but I think Broly might be the biggest money maker, and uh, they just took him out of the banner because they wanted to save him for something in the future. But in that case, how come he's still on the JP banner, right? I mean, 
okay, uh, th this is a stupid question. I know it's, it's a stupid question because obviously JP has him on the banner because it's JP, right? And there's always been that little disparity, man. There's always been, but in this case where the Broly was supposed to be a global exclusive, guys, he was supposed to be a global exclusive and he was for a couple months and, and we, we had him for two months before JP did and for them to do this to us, it, it's just, it, it's too far, man. It's too much, like, <laughs> it's very upsetting. It, it really is very upsetting, and there's not, not much else I can say about it, uh, this topic. I just think that this, this response is unacceptable. I think that um, this, this whole situation is unacceptable, but I mean, what can we do about it, man? I mean, at the end of the day, it, it is what I said, man. It is Bandai's game. They can do whatever the F they want to do with it. I think it's total BS. Uh, um, but, I mean, all we can do on Global is take the L, right? And uh, accept it because we can't do anything about it, man. I mean, the only way we can really do something about it is like a bunch of people stop playing Dokkan. I don't necessarily want that. I know I'm not going to stop, but uh, yeah, man, it's just, it's just crazy. It's crazy. Like, I, <laughs> I don't understand. I don't understand. This was their response. They literally said, yo, everything is correct. All right. Like, no, there's no mistake. Um, we didn't we didn't talk about it or anything like that. Like we, we were kind of like low key about it, but uh, yeah, we intended to take Tech Broly out of the banner, and uh, you're just gonna have to live with that. You're just gonna have to deal with that. So yeah, I mean that's that's the video. It as as it turns out, it did turn into a rant video, but I've been thinking about this. I've had this on my chest for the past couple days, and just like trying to think of like different ways. Um, I could justify it or stuff like that, but then I saw this response. I just like, there's no way to justify it, man. It makes zero sense, and um, it's just, it is what it is, man. It's part of the it's part of the reality of being a global player. I'm still always going to be a global main, guys. Don't worry. I'm not jumping ship to JP just because it's oftentimes brighter on that side. Um, I might start playing JP a little bit more just so I have like. I can experience both, like the, you know, the, the, the preferred side and also the global side, but um, yeah, man, I mean, this is, this is not, not the first time something like this has happened, and uh, I just think this is one of the, like, expe especially, um, like I said, egregious times, right? Just like one of the especially upsetting times, just because it just makes no sense, man. It's not even, like, super, super bad in the grand scheme of things. There's been worse things that have happened, but it just makes no sense, man. It just really doesn't. And that's all I gotta say. I know I've said the same thing. I rambled a lot in this video. I said the same thing over and over again, but I am genuinely upset. Like, I'm not gonna lie. I, I am, as someone who, you know, doesn't have the Broly, really wants the Broly, and sees no reason for them to not include the Broly on the banner, it's upsetting. Okay, so in conclusion, I'm upset. Bandai is being Bandai, um, the response is unacceptable, and let me know about your opinions in the comments down below. If you guys watched until this point, I don't know how long this video is, but probably pretty long of me just like rambling and saying the same things over and over again. Um, thank you for hearing me out, thank you for uh, letting me speak my mind, and uh, I want to hear your opinions, man. Do you guys have the same opinion as me on this matter? Or do you think something else and think I'm wrong or I'm stupid or something? I don't know. Maybe you have a different opinion um, that's vastly different from mine. And if that's the case, let me know, man. I would love to uh, hear about it, all right? And uh, that's pretty much going to do it for the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. You guys are freaking awesome uh, for sticking around for this long. And uh, yeah, as always, if you like the video, make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you wanna stay up to date with all my latest content. And uh, yeah, that's, that's all I gotta say. Until next time, I hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.